All right, here's going to be a short video on uh, knives that I have, and all of them are sharp, but I'm trying to make them sharper. Okay, the first one you see back there, way in the back, this one here, is a Condor Jungle Bowie, and it comes very, very sharp. I mean razor sharp on this edge, the leading, I guess you call it the leading edge, main edge, and on the top edge, this edge right here, very sharp from the factory. It's an excellent uh, jungle boy slash fighting knife. I really like it. Another really good uh, sharp knife is the K-Bar Marine Corps fighting knife. Very sharp along this edge, but it's very, very sharp along this edge right here too. That's what I like about it. It's got two edges of really sharp steel. Okay, another knife that I really like, but it came unsharpened on one side. This is the uh, Glock 78 field knife. It came very sharp along this edge. Very sharp. But it came very dull along this edge right here. <clears throat> it's about an inch and a half long. So I took it to the grinder and I sharpened it and I finished it off with a flat DMT file. Well this is a ceramic flat blade. Just filed it off or finished it off. Now, now it's got an extra uh, inch and a half of sharpness on it. So this Glock field knife is uh, a lot better with just a little bit of work. The next knife is, um, and everybody should know this knife, it's a, a Buck 119 Special. And you can see, well, I'll show you, it's got, comes with a, about a five inch blade and it's very, very sharp along this edge. Very sharp, razor sharp. But along the top edge, this edge right here, and that is <clears throat> that is approximately two and a half inches uh, dull when I bought it. So I took that to the grinder too. Now I have an extra two and a half inches of very sharp blade right along here. It makes it a much better blade. And I finished it off, or what I'm going to be using to maintain it is a round ceramic file. On curved blades, I always use a round file or a round ceramic. Finishes them off nice, keeps the blade real sharp. So that's another really good knife now. It was good to begin with, but it's a little bit better now. And the last one is another Buck. It's the Buck 105. And like I said before, these Bucks come razor sharp. So right along here, the main blade or the main edge, very sharp. But you can see this, this uh, one inch area from here to here, it's one inch long and it comes just dull. I mean, it's factory dull for one inch. So I took that to the grinder too. Ground off just a little bit and I finished it off with uh, the DNT uh, very fine ceramic file. It's a flat blade. These DMTs are really good for keeping blades uh, maintained. So those are a couple of knives that are really good uh, knives but can be made. <clears throat> they can be made just a little bit better with a little bit of work. And a couple of movies that concern blades are uh, over here, one of Harrison Ford's best movies is called Blade Runner. But actually I don't think there's a blade in the movie. And the second one over here is called The Hidden Blade. And that's about, uh, it's, a, it's the, uh, well it's a Japanese movie about a samurai. And unless you, unless you follow samurai movies, you probably won't like this movie. But those are two pretty good blade movies. And what you can do to sharpen blades that are pretty sharp, and you can make them a little bit better. Knuckle bump.